It's the sweet part. I actually never thought he could act in ten for fuck's sake. I'm an idiot. See, this is what happens when I'm rushing. What do I ask for when I'm getting my hair done? Um, balayage and a root shadow. Good luck at your appointment. Thank you, Helen. Oh, it's nothing um, bad. It's actually for a bit of Botox around my eyes. Um, I haven't got anything done since I had that, like, experience. Um, and obviously I'd never get filler again and I actually didn't think I'd get Botox again but it's been a fact of my confidence like I have a few little wrinkles here so I'm gonna go and get a bit of Botox in them to get rid of them and that's it um, but I'm going to a doctor I did not make the same mistake as last time Sixty-eight. Oh, that's not right it must be gone off it must be gone off. Go and have a... Uh, go and um, bring it back, I'd say. Sophia, who's your dad? Who's your dad? Boylan. I presume his surname's Boylan. What's his name? First name. I do know a few Boylans. Oh my God, that's so weird that someone's dad. Andrew. Was he in St. Oliver's, Sophia? Andrew Boylan. Was his surname Boylan? Or is that your mum's maybe? Yeah, it is. Do you know what? I'll have a look after. I probably do know him. If he was in my class, I probably do know him, but I probably have to look him up. Because I'm a bit, uh, the old age has gone in the head. Sophia, how does anybody I went to school with have any child old enough <laughs> to be on TikTok? What the hell? Did he have, he must have had you young, Sophia, did he? You're making me feel really old now. I'm trying to think, Andrew Boylan. I, d I remember an Andrew from school, but I'm not sure if his surname was Boylan, but he was really shy, a nice guy, really, really shy. I'm thinking, is that maybe him? Yeah, no, 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 Hannah, it's not better. I literally, my hairdresser told me to stop using it and I usually use my voodoo straighteners now but um I'm just in a rush <clears throat> oh I haven't Eva I definitely need to I just haven't bought any perfumes recently because um I have so many and they're just collecting dust hi Mary Um, hey everyone my nails I get them done in K nails on Wicklow Street because literally you just run in and run out You're, they're done in like an hour and they do like my nails, my toenails my eyebrows um, I just like going places that you can get everything done at once because I hate getting you know like the way most girls love getting their nails done and love like self care and stuff um, where do you live? I live in Dublin. Mm -hmm. Down comes around. I love the Voodoo's one, um, Hannah. I would never go back to a GHD. It snags my hair a bit. Yeah, Kira, that happens to me as well. Try like saying it in code. Yeah, I hate getting my nails done. Just having to sit there for ages and not fucking move or do anything. Yeah, I like them because I'm in Dublin 4. So it's very close for me. I can walk in and get them done if I wanted to. I don't walk a lot of the time, but... 
I grew out my hair so much. It's crazy. Bay Ram. What is that? I need to grow these out. So I'll take anything for growing out my fucking hair. How did you and your boyfriend meet? Um, he texts me on Instagram. And then one night I was out in... I was out in... Where was I? A tram line. And he was out. Ah, oh, unreal. I'll have a look, um, Kira, for it. Thank you, because I want to grow out these fringe bits. Um, Yeah, he texts me, and we were texting a little bit. And then I was out one night in tram line. He was out in opium. But then he appeared down in tram line. I wonder why. Um. And then, yeah, that's it. Like, we've literally been joined at the hip ever since. No, it's, um, we're sick of the fringe, Mary. It's too much work. Too much work goes into it. Too much styling. Like, I just like waking up and getting out of bed and that's it. Like, I don't like having to style my hair, you know. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back brown for summer. I normally go brown for summer and blonde for winter for whatever reason. I don't know why. I think I might go back to long and brand. I did go to my class yesterday. Yeah, very much still Fortnite obsessed. Just got 17 kills the other day. Felt like a boss. Hey, Alana May, how are you? What's your mature? Oh, do you mean my natural hair color? Um, so this is interesting. I always thought my natural hair color was brown. Okay. But then the hairdresser tells me that my natural hair colour is actually a shade of dark blonde. Now, I would still just call it brown. Um, because to me, it looks brown. But they were like, no, it's actually dark blonde. So I was like, oh, okay. Or mousy brown, you know what I mean? But it's not actually mousy brown. Like, it literally looks like this, this colour. So I don't understand how that's dark blonde. But anyway, I think it's to do with, like, the undertones. Yeah, Ashlyn, TikTok is so bad. <laughs> Holly is having me upset. Oh, we love Fortnite. We love it. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe the hairdresser was just wild and as well, but she was like, no, that would be considered dark brown. X is way worse than TikTok. What do you mean? I don't really use X, to be honest. I feel like people on Twitter and stuff, it's just very negative. Like, it's literally a cesspit of negativity. Like, every time I go on that fucking app, I end up, like, getting cancelled for something ridiculous. So I just don't even go on it anymore. Because the people are all very, like, social justice warriors on it. And by that, I don't mean, like, people that, like, care about things and want to change, like things that are actually worth changing I mean like they're people that literally I don't know what they do but all they do is clearly sit in their bedroom and look at things to be offended by and like that's clearly their whole life um so um yeah I just don't go on x because I think it's probably like I think people are if they don't like a test I feel like x would be like the most mentally deranged people like, I feel like the people on X are, like, the same as the people on Tal, but the people on X actually have the balls to say it on their own accounts a lot of the time, you know what I mean? So that's where it differs. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, chronically online. That is the best way to say it. Chronically online. Like, I got fucking cancelled so badly on X. Like, so bad. I was literally trending in South Africa. That's how bad I got cancelled on X. Because they just took something I said totally out of context. But it's so funny because now it's like two years later and no one no one remembers it or cares about it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. They're just a bit tapped. And then another thing, what happened to me on X was there was this non-binary person and I was having a bit of a back and forth with them and I called them she because it was an accident, obviously. Like, I obviously didn't know that they were non-binary. They were feminine presenting. So how am I supposed to know? And then 
this person started telling everybody like that I'm transphobic, that I'm misgendering them on purpose. So I was like, are you fucking for real? Like it was literally an accident. But like, that's what I mean about like people on Twitter. Like they're just waiting to be offended about something. Like they're just sitting going, what can I be offended by today? So yeah, it's not my type of app. I don't like it at all. Yeah, they do need to touch grass, honestly. I don't even mean to be rude. Like, I, I actually... It's not every person on Twitter, do you know what I mean? I'm sure there's loads of lovely people on Twitter, but there's just a lot of trouble risers and a lot of people just sitting waiting to cause trouble, you know what I mean? Oh, what can someone do that's going to annoy me today kind of vibe? Like, and I'm just not here for that. I don't think anybody should be sitting on social media, like, plotting the downfall of anybody else, you know? No, it's not like Facebook. It's like... Lads, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, you know, like... You know, like, really, like... I don't know. It's like the extremes of everything. It's very political. And it's very extreme. Like, in on the left and on the right are both very, very extreme on Twitter. So it makes it quite an unenjoyable place, to be honest. Do you know what my friend told me that? you seen someone getting shot in the head on Twitter. Yeah, they, Elon Musk took it over and he's all about like free speech, but apparently there's like stuff being let on it that shouldn't be let on it and all. I haven't done a sunbed in months. Months. Hence the fact I'm so pale. Yeah, they don't censor anything. Yeah, Keelan. Uh, I'm a bit sore, but not, I'm not like in bits, you know what I mean? Death and bots. Right, guys, I'm going to head off because I do have an appointment at three. So I'm just going to go and get dressed and stuff. I should be back on at some point today. Um, Love you all. Bye. <laughs> Cancelled about 10 times for a fucking um, One Direction page. That is gas.